Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to tell you how can you create a simple flower in Tinkercad. So the flower will be something like this. Then uh, with the petals, it will be curved and the flower will be seen something like this. So you can see my video on uh, how to create the flower with the pot too. So there, uh, uh, I have created a pot too. And so now I'm going to uh, tell you about this. So first, uh, you can go to modify and bring the create new object. And after that, you should go to shape and bring the cylinder in. And uh, this color isn't important, uh, so you can just leave it. And after that, um, you have to change the radius to 10, height to 3, uh, size uh, 64, and edge to 2, edge steps to 1. And then you have to scale it to 2.5 and 0.1, uh, like 2.5 and 1. So 0 0.5 also would work. So that's the same. OK. And then after that, I'm going to create new object flower. And uh, I'm first going to delete this here. And I'm going to create a group. And uh, I'm going to bring a count with. So if you want to so like, uh, I want uh, 25 petals of the flower. OK, so now I should change this also to 25. Now you can check this. So now I have a more beautiful flower than the last one. Now you will see that it's the other flower. Now, as you can see, it's very small. So maybe if you increase it to 10, that would be good. So like that, you can experiment with different numbers and you have to change this rotate around. And then uh, in the rotate around, I have a division 360 by how much you are. Uh, oh no, it became very big, right? Yeah, so maybe 6.5 would be good for it. Or else it will become very big and that wouldn't look good. So like that, uh, you can try experimenting. And then uh, uh, for uh, then I have a multiplication with say 360 by how much the number you have put to two in the count width and into i. And from pivot x10 and y00, you, uh, you have to put in the pivot. And then create group. Uh, and uh, here you should put which color do you want of the petal, OK? So first, uh, I'll change it to the defaults. Okay, and then uh, delete object so the first petal doesn't stay off. And then I'm gonna rotate around um, axis X by ninety, and uh, be sure to put in the pivot in there. And after that, I'm gonna go to modify and take the move block. And you have to type in uh, 30 in the Z and leave the others. And then you should bring uh, a sphere from the shapes. And uh, you should set, as, uh, set its radius to 5 and steps to 18. So um, you get, after that, you should uh, bring the move, mod, from, move from the modifier. And uh, the X will be 10 and the Z will be 30. The Y will be zero by the default. So that was the simple flower. So now say if you want only 15 maybe or uh, maybe 20, and you just have to change these enough. If you want you change that or else it's not so important too. So now like this is made. And now this came up. So the rotate, uh, this is making the flower up, just rotate. So now as you can see, the flower became a little thick. So now maybe if you want, uh, you can make it uh, at least 6.5 so that it looks a little good. And it doesn't stay so small in front of the flower. So like that, you can try experimenting with the numbers, but uh, be sure to not change the uh, petal size. 
like petal scale and the radius should be the same or else it will be something bad. So now as you can see, I made it just 20 and I start again. Now you saw that uh, I have a much bigger flower and the move and all is just wasted. So you'll have to change everything if you just uh, don't keep this in its default. So you should keep them in its default. And thank you all. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and bye bye. Please subscribe our channel for more updates.